Hi, I'm Captain Mark Ballinger with the Springfield Fire Department, Truck 2. Today I'm here with Driver Engineer Bill Morris and Firefighter Ben Munstock. Today we're going to be talking about how to turn a window into a door. Some of the reasons you might have to convert a window into a door are rip deployment, a trap victim, or you can't exit a room the way you came in. Some considerations for the window to door conversion are, above all, safety. We're going to have a chainsaw, some glass, and nails to contend with. Second would be, we want you to try to cut at least a 24 inch hole so that a Stokes basket will fit in there. Third, always try to have the power off if at all possible. There could be live wires in the window. Some considerations for air entrainment or simply close the door of the room that you're in or if you can replace the window and the block after you've done this whole rapid extrication. So this is a typical wood frame single family residence. Let's open this window up so we can see how it's constructed. Bill, you want to help him pull that down? Perfect. This is an atypical window insulation, sometimes found in older homes. If this were a newer home, you'd have a couple considerations. A lot of times under here, under the rough windowsill, they put extra cripples on both sides, sometimes one, sometimes two. They're each an inch and a half thick. That's why we always try to go over three inches on the inside of the window to miss where these jack studs or cripples might actually be. So this wall consists of true dimensional two by fours covered with drywall and insulation behind it. On the outside, you're going to see some 1x12 sheeting followed by aluminum siding. So this is a pretty typical construction for this era of home. This is meant to be a down and dirty, rapid evolution. The first steps in doing it would be to identify your window, which will be done by the companies inside. The second step would be to take out your glass. Third step, identify where you're going to use your chainsaw. Remember to come in three or four inches so you don't hit that jack stud that could be there. And the fourth part of it would be to remove the wall and extricate your victim.
Place the cut approximately three inches from the vertical side of the window and cut down through the sill plate to avoid vertical studs and cripples. Do the same on the other side of the window sill. No need to make a horizontal cut on the sill plate. With your tools, pull the section out. Set the cut piece aside. You may need to replace it later. Insert the Stokes basket 24 inches wide or have the rescue team remove the victim. You can also use the firefighter drag rescue device or two-way. Keep in mind the following considerations when performing this task. Introduction of a large amount of fresh air into the flow path is especially important to recognize if crews are on the floor above and the fire is already vented. Control the flow path by closing the door to the room if at all possible. Tools should have already been staged as part of the writ responsibilities. Could use window to door conversion to create access to a basement. Cut the floor, preferably only one joist in a three foot square. Insert the ladder, hose line, Stokes basket. Always remember to back up the window to door conversion procedure with a charged hose line. Thanks for watching. This is Truck 2 from the Springfield Fire Department. And remember, call the truck, problem solved, period.